In 2011, we had an LTI, and a lost time incident, which made us take a fresh look at what we were doing on site. Why, after all the work we were doing, did, we, did this happen on site? We brought in Sea Change to help us find this missing piece, and we very quickly learned that we were working very hard to fix a lot of the unsafe conditions on site, but we were missing the human element. We were missing people and behaviour. Sea Change's position is you can have as many safety systems in your organisation, but where a gap exists between the system and the people on the ground, accidents will happen. Organisations have to address this gap, and it's the gap between the what and the how. The safety first message needs to become more than just a set of rules and top-down diktats. Wexford have reached a sustainable level on the Bradley curve and very close to moving into best in class. How do we know this? Because there are people who are telling us. Before we started this process, uh, we had a lot of frustration here. Uh, we had endless lists and lists and we didn't actually know what to do with them. Sea change workshops give us the opportunity to get involved and identify the risks in our area. As part of the safe engagement step of the process, we now began to work with the local teams in their own areas. Having identified the top eight unsafe attitudes earlier on in the process, the teams now walk the area with those in mind. Each team began to identify key risks in the area, both physical risks and behaviour risks, and started to prioritise them. Agreeing these priorities was essential because now everybody was very clear on where the focus was going to be. By the end of the engagement step of the process, we had now established local safety action teams, or SAT teams, in all areas of the factory. Here in Wexford, we successfully implemented visual communication tools across the site. JSAs, SAT boards, and the concept of a wise wall. One thing Sea Change helped us understand is that people will not connect with safety unless it's interactive, visual and real. Job safety awareness cards were created using the Safety software to visually communicate and train the workforce on hazards and risk levels. The Sea Change tool for job safety awareness brings risk out. It visualises risk and best practice in our area. Safe routines were established to get consistency across all shifts. This keeps the system alive and relevant. Twelve local safety action teams, SAT teams, were formed across the entire factory to manage and own safety within their area. There are monthly meetings which are great where we can track and prioritise things that have happened during the month. We learned how to use more proactive standards and measures for safety. Standards reflecting people's involvement and quality of routines to add to their existing near-miss and incident measures. It makes stage three and stage four of the Bradley curve sustainable. We've also established clear metrics around these new tools that we've introduced. These metrics represent leading safety indicators for the factory, which are much more proactive than in the past. We're now focusing on the unsafe behaviours before an accident occurs. We are taking the lead on a cultural evolution towards developing safe behaviours. Sustainability only matters when people's behaviours are consistent across a rapidly changing environment. Making it simple and relevant is what Wexford is all about. When behaviour changes, it doesn't confine itself to safety but improves all aspects of our business. Building on the success of our safety behaviour programme, we are, with the help of Sea Change, implementing a similar quality behaviour programme. This will help us drive the changes required for FOCAL, our corporate quality initiative. The essence of Demo Way is about growing local ownership. The Sea Change Way supports Demo Way with the how. It gives us the tools to address the soft behavioural attitudes. Before we introduced the routines around the safety action teams and the SAT board, it was very difficult to communicate, for example, a near miss across the four shifts. We now have a forum for that. We believe in the sea change way and see the results. Other Danone sites are now also using the sea change way based on what we've been able to achieve in Wexford. We have a new language, we're more consistent, we understand and manage risk better. We really believe we've found the missing piece. We've overcome structural challenges in communication by implementing the sea change safety tools now we want to sustain what we've learned through safe routines and standards and leverage what we've learned across other disciplines in the organisation.